Hi, I hope you're well. I really hope you've had a good week. Well, in this week's vlog, we cross the Tidal River Trent. I meet a famous YouTuber. And see what I find to put in my journal this week. So we are making our way to the lock in West Topwith. We are about to go on the Tidal River Trent. And we have Daniel from the Narrowboat Iron Lady with us who has commented on a couple of the videos. So it's lovely to share the lock with him. Let's hope it all goes well. The conditions are very different to the last time we did this. So you can see that this lock is wide, it's actually 14 foot wide. So bigger boats, wide beams can get through into the Chesterfield Canal, but they can only reach up to Retford. Beyond Retford, the locks can only accommodate boats 70 foot long and 7 feet wide. So the lock keeper just told us it's a really low tide today, there isn't very much water at all. So once again, we were on the tides. This is gorgeous. Where are we going? Well, we are heading towards Lincoln. So we are going to go through Torxy Lock. So I read a lovely little story about Gainsborough where apparently it could have been the place where King Canute tried to unsuccessfully turn the tide. Actually it's quite a good place to choose because the Ager wave breaks here at Gainsborough. Is King Canute when you need him. So 
So if you want to stay in Gainsborough, there's a great floating pontoon that you can moor your boat overnight. And there's lots of places to visit, shops, and it's a great place for history lovers, actually. Right, you've got your boat there, and it's a floating pontoon, so it's fine, it just moves with the water levels. But of course, if you don't have a boat, you can just disregard everything I've said and just turn up. So boaters need to go through the central arch on this one. And this gorgeous old derelict building used to be an infant school to start with in the 1900s and then an all-girls school and it actually had a swimming pool in one of the lower classrooms. David in the comments recently said that the flour mill industry was a great and honest industry to work in. And as we turned the corner, we noticed this beautiful Dutch barge. It looks like it's grounded. We couldn't see anyone to ask if they were okay. But I suppose what they do is they just wait for the water level to rise. stay centre here because we're crossing a Roman ford underneath us and, um, and also we've got a table, sadly not a Roman relic. Let's let Mr M know. If you need to go through Torxy Lock, when you get to this point, which is Torxy Viaduct, you need to give the lock keeper at Torxy a ring and let them know you're on your way. Oh hi, I'm on the narrow boat called Narrow Boat Alice Grace and we're just about to approach Torxy Viaduct. I wondered if we were able to go through the lock today. Brilliant. Alright then. Yep, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye. Bye. The viaduct was built in 1847 and 1849 to carry the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway. Past Tuxi Castle and a sub-sunk wheelie bin, we rounded the corner and waited in the queue for Tuxi Lock.
at this point you might be thinking how rude you've overtaken all those votes for waiting but some of them weren't waiting to go through and others had a draft bigger than two foot and there just wasn't enough water for them to go through. So here we're going to talk to Lark. This is such a fascinating lock because it's where the River Trent, a uh, feat of modern engineering, meets the oldest canal on the network, the Fosdyke Canal. And because the River Trent is prone to flooding, the job of the lock keeper here is absolutely crucial. Well, what a relief it was to be on the Fosdyke Canal. Now I'm going to be spending a few weeks here, so hopefully you'll join me on the adventures. And rather surprisingly, I bumped into someone that I've been following on YouTube for Look ages. At that. Mr. Narrowboat Will is constantly busy, constantly making improvements to his boat and adjustments. A perfectionist. That's what Mr. Narrowboat Will is. He's a perfectionist. You're a perfectionist! <laughs> we'll see more of Narrowboat Will in next week's vlog. We've moored our boat by a modern village with an ancient heart. And everywhere you go around its gorgeous little streets, you'll find blue plaques here and there celebrating its rich past. with scrubs. I've not gone there. I've come to this place because it's um, a, a nature project basically in the community to make this area more wildlife friendly to rewild it. Hardwick Scrub is one of three wildlife areas created by Saxelby Nature Project which started up during lockdown. Its aim was to make it easy for people to experience and engage with the natural world without having to get into a motorised vehicle.
The tide is shallow and dusty sallow just sleeps upon the clover. As barge is ground, there is no sound from dusty on the clover. Kestrel dives, dusty resides, wings closed upon the clover, and there she'll stay until the day is well and truly over.